Hey guys, so today what I'm gonna be doing is playing as Chen Fu. I really wanted to play him when he came out, but I never got a chance to. So I'm doing it right now. Um, there's a chance that I may split the video at some point here and there because um, I had seen some gameplay online on YouTube and all, and seen like the videos are seriously long and. Knowing me, I try at times not to make it as long. I just want to make it at least a decent, you know, make it at least decent. So what I'll be doing is a short gameplay of Chen Pool, and I still haven't forgotten about the walkthrough guide of, of the video I did the other day. Uh, I will of the um all the characters with Wei Yan. I um will do that soon. I'll try to upload it sometime this week coming or tomorrow. So anyways, hope you all enjoy. Thanks for watching. Glory to U. During the end of the later Han, the land was in chaos due to the power struggles that had erupted within the Imperial Court. In addition, in this period of turmoil, a man by the name of Zhang Xiao appeared. He began to teach the way of peace in Ji province and brought help to the common people, winning their hearts almost immediately. Then, in the year 184, he rises up in revolt against the Imperial Court. His yellow turbans rose up in every district across the land. History would later refer to this as the Yellow Turban Rebellion. The Imperial Court unsuccessfully tries to suppress them, but is defeated. The fate of the 400-year-old Han Dynasty is about to be decided. We are up against 300,000 yellow turban rebels. Many of them are mere peasants, but that doesn't change the fact that we are greatly outnumbered. Cheng Pu. He was formerly a provincial official. His talent was discovered by the Sun family patriarch, Sun Jian and he was made an officer. He fought alongside Sun Jian during the Yellow Turban Rebellion. He was determined to use his brilliance to help support his lord's work to suppress the uprising. Ha <laughs> ha! It sounds like an impossible task when you say it out loud like that. It seems the built-up rage and frustration of the people have finally boiled over. My lord, this is not a situation to make light of. Come on, guys. Battles are not fought on numbers alone. These rebels don't stand a chance against us. Okay. If you can take on about a third of them by yourself, we should be set. Unless you're out there, it's easier said than done. <sighs> Cheng Pu. There's no need to be so glum. We accepted this challenge because of the odds, not in spite of them. It is our goal to help the Imperial Army and protect the Han Imperial Court. The Sun family is the spear of the Han. It is times like these when we are needed the most. Besides, I have a strong feeling that we cannot lose this battle. How can you be so certain? The Soon family has many brave and powerful warriors in its service. Cheng Pu, Huang Gai, Hang Dong. I am counting on all of you in this battle. <sighs> you really know how to make us feel wanted, my lord. I'll say, when he puts it like that, you can't help but get fired up for the battle ahead. There you two go again. Looks like I'm going to have to be the one to keep you both in line. We'll be fine, Master Cheng Pu. Huang Gai and I can take care of ourselves. Anyways, 
I hear that Dong Zhuo has set up camp at Guangzhou with approximately 50,000 Imperial troops. Dong Zhuo, he has made quite the name for himself in Liang. Our first move should be to meet up with him. I hear that Dong Zhuo is more like a wolf in sheep's clothing. Master Sun Jian, we should be cautious when dealing with him. Ha <laughs> ha! Thanks for looking out for me, Chiang Pu. Okay, it's time to go. Huang Gai, raise the call to march! At once, my lord. Everybody, prepare to march in the name of the Sun family of Shandong! Our claws and fangs are gonna rip! Master Sun Jian said we have what it takes to win this battle. However, where does he find the confidence to make such a claim? I remember he felt the same way when I joined his army. He was kind and generous, and he believed in me. Therefore, I shouldn't doubt him. I shall repay his trust in me and follow him into battle. I can't let Huang Gai, Hang Dang, and the others steal the glory. I'll be the one to claim Zhang Zhao's head. My lord, look there! A gang of yellow turban rebels lies before us. Ah, this should be a good workout before the main battle. Let's go! We must eliminate every last one of the enemy! <laughs> Turn again for the yellow turbans, and heaven will strike you down like this. Do you really want to get in the way of the yellow turbans? In that case, you'll have to deal with my quick feet and my strong arms. Let me set an example. Here's a lesson for you. But how? I've got to get out of here. Fast! These must be the forces led by Don Zhuo. We must go and pay our respects to him. Who are you people? I am Sun Jiang. I have brought 1,000 men to join the fight against the Yellow Turbans. <laughs> You're the one who has the nerve to call himself the Tiger of Zhangdong. You just stay out of the way, all right? Um... Actually, we were hoping to fight along the front lines. That will not be necessary. You're free to observe if you wish. Why would we want to do that? What are you, a bunch of imbeciles? Don't you get it? The Yellow Turbans have a vast army. There's no way we can beat them with only this many troops. But we are the Imperial Army. It is only right that we crush such an uprising with superior numbers. Until the court realizes that and gives us the men we need, I am happy to sit here and waste time. And if the... We will cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> but if you really want to fight, I won't stop you. Feel free to take out a few peasants. Just make sure not to get in my way. I understand. For the time being, we shall deal with the rebels along the periphery. Well, that was a bit awkward. Just what is Dong Zhuo thinking? 
I guess he kinda has a point. We're still outnumbered, so there's little use in picking pointless fights. No. Hmm, he is willing to ignore these various skirmishes in order to conserve his own troops. Why would he do that? The way things are going, the Han is likely to fall, leaving him alone on scale. I can't believe that somebody would do such a thing. So that's Dong Zhuo's real purpose for not attacking. He's a villainous scum! My lord, we can't just let him get away with this. No, we don't know for sure that it's true yet. Furthermore, we can still use his inaction to our advantage. We can lead the enemy vanguard to him. He is hoping to keep his army intact, so he'll feel threatened by this sudden encroachment and have no choice but to fight. Therefore, we'll be taking the battlefield to him. We can take advantage of the confusion to slay Zheng Zhao. I see. That's quite the plan you've developed there. Although I think you might be even more devious than Dong Zhuo, my lord. Ha <laughs> ha! Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Finally, this battle is about to get interesting. Another one falls before me. Well done. I couldn't do it better myself. are you? Listen to me, soldiers of the Yellow Turbans. My name is Cheng Pu, and I am here to slay Zhang Jiao, the man who has led you astray. We'll reel in the Yellow Turban forces. We must dispatch the enemies in front of us in spectacular fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Zhuo is unwilling to move, so you're bringing the enemy to him instead. That is definitely one way to change the course of this battle. We shall help you. Allow us to draw out. Um... Thank you for your assistance, but who are you? I am Cao Cao. We are here for the same reasons you are. Ah, I've heard of you before. You've made quite a name for yourself. Huh. Now that you know who we are, you could at least return the favor. Forgive me. My name is Sun Jian. Hey, I've heard of you before. You're the Tiger of Jiandong. We've come across a really interesting group here, my lord. Hmm. I am looking forward to seeing the military acumen of the mighty Sun family in person. <laughs> I look forward to exceeding your expectations. You should report back to Dong Zhuo for now. I have a feeling his army will be seeing action soon. We'll be there as soon as you've made your preparations. I understand. 
Thank you for your advice, Lord Cao Cao. Oh, you're back already. Tell me, how are the yellow turbans looking? They... Lord Dong Zhuo, we've got trouble. The yellow turban forces are on their way here. The yellow turbans are attacking? Then we have no choice. Everyone, advance! It seems the course of this battle has changed. I guess Master Cao Cao has held up his end of the bargain. Everyone, this is the chance we've been waiting for. All units, head for the enemy main camp and slay Zheng Zhao. Master Cheng. surrender. I will have faith in the power of the heavens and fight until the end! The power of the heavens is channeled through my earthly being. Come, see if you can tell which is the real one. Perceive the truth. Here's a lesson for you. Another one falls before me. Very good. I shall remember your efforts. No, how could you see through my sorcery? Brother, you must carry on our dream. 
We have broken through the enemy lines. We must use this momentum to push forth. You fools can't stop us. Observe the perfect formation of Lord Zhang Zhao. You dare attack us head on? The height of foolishness, as you'll now see. Hmm, quite an impressive formation, but it will have a weakness somewhere. All right, I need everyone to defend this area. Aha! The enemy! The enemy is here! They've located our weakest spot. We can't maintain formation now. through the enemy formation thanks to our reinforcements. We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. Cease your vile behavior, yellow turbans. Don't you know your place, Vermin? You're already dancing in the palm of my hand. My traps will lead you to ruin. been destroyed. Now we will be unable to demonstrate our true might. Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. Feel the death I can feel my strength fading. Another altar has been destroyed. All my altars have been destroyed! Ah, oh, this 
strength is draining from my body! You're the yellow turban leader, Zheng Jiao. You might as well surrender, for your head is mine. Ignorant beasts of the Han, do you really believe you can slay me? I have been given the blessing of the heavens themselves! The Han court has devolved into a den of iniquity, a seething sewer of human decadence. Can you not see the abuse of power that brings suffering to the people? The day of the Han is done! Now is the hour of the yellow turbans! Listen to the will of the heavens! We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. Let's go. Now is the time to attack. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. Let me set an example. Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. Our comrades are made to suffer. The heavens will never allow it to stand. We did it! We managed to win the battle! It is like Sun Tzu said. Speed is of the essence in overcoming obstacles in battle. Waiting for an opportunity and quickly seizing it was the secret of our success. You are most impressive, Master Sun Jian. You did it, my lord. This should quell the various uprisings around the land. Will it? I can only hope that things go so smoothly. Hmm? Is there something troubling you even after our victory? Zhang Zhao wasn't wrong when he said the rebellion was due to the failure of the Han court. Until that changes, new rebellions will simply rise up to take its place. I believe Dong Zhuo realizes the same thing. Indeed, the Han faces many threats from both outside and within. Everyone, keep in mind that the chaos will not be quelled as easily as this rebellion. In that case, we'll just keep fighting until it is. Besides, the longer it goes on, the more chances I have to make a lasting impression on people. Well said, Han Dang. Of course, I don't plan on letting you outshine me, though. We shall demonstrate the strength of the Sun family to the land. And if the age ventures towards chaos, we shall be there to right its course. It is imperative that we consider all of the possibilities going forward. However, we should take the time to rest and celebrate this victory. Ha <laughs> ha! You make an excellent point, Cheng Po. Thanks again, everyone. Master Cheng Pu, 